what up, what up? Jeff Joseph back with another video. Listen, you see the thumbnail, you see the title, so you already know what I'm about to talk about. But before I do, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe, turn on post notifications, and uh, don't skip no ads. <laughs> but listen, in today's video, <sighs> Big Bertha, Big Bertha, Big Bertha. y'all so you might be able to tell that it is a whole new day and um so basically um having some uh, electrical problems uh, at least that's what the code is that's popping up so it could be the battery it could be the alternator so we're gonna start with the batteries first and see uh if they need to be replaced i had a mechanic actually came out and looked at it and said that he's 100 percent positive that is the batteries but it also could be the <laughs> the alternators i'm like bro I, what but uh he said that it's the batteries and so he tested the batteries and said that they were dead obviously i could tell that from the gauges and so i explained to him exactly what happened so what happened was i came back from doing an amazon run and uh i parked the truck all crooked and i went to my parents house just for a minute before i left and moved the truck to park correctly and uh, it wouldn't start from there. So basically I was able to run the whole Amazon route, uh, including starting and stopping the truck when I was unloading and unloading. But by the time I got back to where I parked the truck at, it wouldn't start back up, right? So I'm headed to Napa right now to pick up the batteries. In the meantime, y'all let me know in the comments if y'all think now is a good time to buy a brand new box truck. I'm talking about brand new with a sleeper uh, so my drivers can be comfortable when they go over the road. I don't know. What y'all think? What y'all think? What y'all think? Let me know. All right, so the battery is going to be $175.99 each plus a $27 each port charge. So it's $405.98 plus tax. I'm going to bring the old ones back. It'll get $54 plus tax back. Okay. All right, so your total is going to yeah, be... Let's do it. Oh, wait, let me... Okay, uh, my code is BK72011. Got a lot going on today, huh? Yeah, it's inventory. Oh. All right, what's your phone number? 504. All right, y'all, real quick. So the total came to 444. So in my opinion, that must be a good sign that it is just the batteries. And once I put these bitches in, it's going to crank up with no problem. So I'm going to take that as a sign. In the meanwhile, I'm about to go figure out uh, what I got to do to install these bad boys. And uh, I'll highlight y'all when I'm finished. All right, y'all, so quick update. I've been out here working, slaving on this truck, trying to get to these batteries and um, come to find out. The second battery is uh, the negative is stripped. So I'm working on getting some uh, grip pliers to get this bad boy off. But like I was saying, come to find out, these batteries were just replaced less than a year ago. So they should be under warranty. So now I'm gonna snatch these off and then drive to an international dealer to see about the warranty on these batteries and um, replace them. Bring back the ones that I just bought, replace them with the warranty batteries. And hopefully that solves the problem. If that doesn't solve the problem, then we gotta go to phase two. All right, y'all, so I wanted to hop on here real quick and let y'all know that I got everything settled. Uh, got the new batteries in, brought the old batteries and back. It turns out uh, that the batteries that were on the truck were under warranty, uh, except they were only under warranty in Houston. Unfortunately, the international dealer in Houston got these batteries third party, so they're not accepted at all international dealers, which is super weird, super messed up, but it is what it is. I've already had bought the new batteries by then anyway, so it didn't really matter. I just exchanged. Well, I just brought those old batteries in and got the little refund thing they do when you bring it back. It was like $60 back off of it. So I did the work all myself. It really wasn't too bad. It comes with the territory. So I just wanted to hop on here real quick and let you guys know uh, that I'm thinking about, thinking about getting a whole new box truck brand new uh we'll see how that goes i know there's some places out in south carolina but anyway drop in a, the comments below if y'all know of any good place selling new trucks i uh, want it to be new new as possible brand new if possible 
Um, so drop in the comments if y'all know good place selling new or used, as long as it's in really good condition, let me know. I'm also interested in leasing trucks too. If anybody wants to lease their truck, just let me know. But I think now for anybody who's wondering, it's a good time to buy new trucks or to lease new trucks or to get into the box truck business because uh, peak, peak season is upon us. Peak season is coming up soon. So I think anybody who starts now, you'll do well. Just make sure that you put money aside for the slow seasons. Make sure that you manage your business correctly. And I think anybody who gets started now should, should be just fine. But um, for me, like I said, I got a driver that's taking over this truck soon. I'm definitely gonna be leasing a new truck soon for an additional driver, but I'm considering buying a third truck, like purchasing a truck right out um, for me. <laughs> for me to have and drive and to operate as well but i don't know i just wanted to let y'all know that uh for those of you who are thinking about doing it do it and so i'm gonna make another video uh tonight i'm gonna run amazon so i gotta go get fresh and i gotta go gotta go take a shower and, and get fresh and get some rest for this amazon run i'm gonna do tonight i'm gonna make another video updating y'all how it goes Here, hopefully everything should go smoothly but i'm also gonna make another video talking about what i talk about so that's it that's all i'll catch y'all in the next video Oh, cranking up. Showtime. Showtime, baby. Because if you watched that last video, then you know I had some uh, truck troubles and um, basically got to replace the battery. Quick update everything is going smooth. Um, I'm here at the Amazon facility. I'm about to pick up a uh, Amazon run and uh, I'll catch y'all on the inside. Or if not, then I'll catch up with y'all later and let y'all know how it goes. So update, everything is not okay. Um, I'm backed up at the dock and the lift gate was bumping against the lock port. So I put it down to put it back up and now it won't go back up. There's like no power going to it working earlier and now nothing so gotta figure that out all right y'all real quick this has been the most anxiety provoking okay. Amazon trip that I've ever had I just completed it as you can see um, I am back where I usually park at so basically long story short, short i had to go in there had to tell the lady uh what was going on that the lift gate was down and i couldn't get to the dock and i wouldn't be able to drive like that and that um i'm working you know that i'm working on trying to fix it so i went in there she's like i gotta talk to my supervisor um supervisor basically came back and said that i gotta reject the load i was like reject the load she's like you have to reject the load i said okay because in my mind i was like <laughs> I was just trying to let you know that I, I need a little time to work the issue. I don't care if, it, if I get it fixed at 159, I ain't rejecting the loads at two o'clock. <laughs> I'll load this thing up in one minute if I have to. I ended up figuring out what the issue was. Uh, so basically the wire that goes to the lift gate, there's only one wire that goes to the lift gate. It was connected to the negative terminal and not the positive terminal. And because uh, I know I said earlier in the video that it was working fine earlier, but I realized I never put it back up, which is why I got stuck on the hook in the first place because I got distracted when I was supposed to put it back up, but I never put it back up. And all the reason why it went down is because it doesn't require any electricity to go down, gravity or weighted or whatever it's called to go down, but it requires power for it to go up, obviously. So, so that's why it wouldn't go back up, which is why it was down further enough where I couldn't get around the hook which is why I couldn't get to the dock. Yeah, so basically, so basically I put it all the way down to the ground in order to put it back up, but it wouldn't go back up. Sometimes when you use this lift gate, it requires you to go all the way down to the ground before it'll go back up. And so that's what I thought the issue was. So I put it all the way down to the ground thinking that I, it would just go back up and it wouldn't go back up. So she's like, reject the load. And I'm like, ain't rejecting no load. So anyway, um, I ended up fixing the problem 15 minutes before I was supposed to check out. I load the whole truck up. It was a full truck and I load the whole truck up in like eight, 10 minutes after I got approved to continue to, to, to move forward. 
and um, I loaded that bad boy up in 10 minutes and we was out of there. So then I dropped everything off, completed my last stop and I'm on the way to come park the truck and I get a stop engine light came on. So I had to pull over to the side of the road. It literally shut down. I had to like muscle it off to the side of the road because I lost all power. Then I go out there and find out that uh, one of the terminals was still loose. I guess I didn't put it back on there tight enough, moving too fast. Um, so it was a simple fix. I had to go out there and tighten it back up. But y'all look, I'm thinking, you know, trying to fix the problem. I was going to the fuel box. I was doing all kinds of shit trying to fix that problem. But nonetheless, it got resolved and everything is back in working order. You know, this experience really makes me want to get a new truck uh, just so I don't have to deal with any of these issues and that everything is under warranty and uh, just give me opportunity to just run it up but i'll have any problems plus i want to make sure that my drivers are in dependable vehicles not that this truck is dependable because i definitely have had it for uh six months almost seven months now and has not given me any problems until now uh which again is minor problem it's just the battery uh just the battery died and that's like routine type thing so that's it that's all i'm really gonna end the video this time and uh, I'll catch y'all in the next one.